Hey guys, it's me, AutoReflex24, and I have come up with a new Forge map. Um, I don't know what to call it, but it's like a abandoned ghost ship. Let's check it out. So, I was in, uh, if you can't tell, I'm in Tidal right now. And for the uh, fog and stuff, what I did is I did the near fog is fluffy. The primary color is the 50% gray. The secondary color is the dusty plum. The scale is 0 0.40. The thickness is 2.80. And the brightness is 0 0.7. Uh, the distance fog is black. And the thickness is 3.2. And the brightness is 0.3. Cloud shadows, northern darkness, 0 0.05, and then the override for the wind is x direction is 5.50, y direction is 3.5, and z direction is negative 2. And uh, that's it for that. And then let's just check this out. So, this being an abandoned ship, you know, stuff has been falling apart, including this floor. Um, the lights, you know, abandoned ship lights aren't super nice, they're super flashy. And then the TV screens and the skulls, which is interesting. Um, this first floor, see, yeah, it collapsed. There's flashing lights in the hallways. And uh, to do this little effect, you just get uh, one of the uncapped cables from the construction props. And you just put that light on an angle, and it works pretty well. So, there's that. And, yeah. Now, floor two. I haven't worked out the little, the, uh, the missing links for getting to floors. So, I'm going to be doing that. And then, in the, uh control tower, the screens are going crazy and can't keep one color. Little doll here. I like doing this stuff just to, you know, throw in some easter eggs. And there's this hidden room right here. So, yeah. That's really it. I mean, you know, adding a, a bunch of lightning, a bunch of noises. Um... And that's all you really have to do to make a eerie looking map. Oh, and also, you know, you have to add in, like, the frost covering and the grime. And uh, it makes a really cool effect And you know, making some of the walls normal mode so they fall over like that. And making stuff at angles you can climb into. And that's what makes this game a lot of, like, forging a lot of fun is you can get so creative and and you can make anything you want. So, thanks for watching and subscribing, and please keep doing that. See you guys later.